So if you have ever solved a 3 by 3 system of linear equations by hand, you are really going to appreciate this next little bit. I'm going to show you how you can have your Texas Instrument Calculator do the work for you. So here's a system of three equations and three unknowns, x, y, and z. And you know the strategies for doing it by hand. You'd have to pick one of the letters that you're going to get rid of, and you then pick a couple of pairs um, from your three to get rid of it. And then you have a two by two that you have to solve using substitution or elimination. Okay. Well, what we can do, and it, to me it often feels like synthetic division. We're going to take all the letters out, and we just have the coefficients. So write x minus y plus 5z equals negative 6. 1x minus 1y plus 5z equals negative 6. So you can't change the order of how these go. You can change what order these lines go in. Okay, so here's this line, 3, 3, negative 1, 10, 1, 3, 2, 5. Okay, and we call this an augmented matrix. And when we write matrices, matrices, sorry, we use these big square brackets that hold everything in. So before we can use a calculator, we need to know just a little bit about matrices, um, and that is the size. So this is a three, three rows, by four, four columns. So this is called the three by four matrix. Okay. So go ahead and grab your calculators. Here we go. So the matrix is this option, blue option, right above the x to the negative 1. Here, I will zoom in and see if we can stay focused. Oh, not focused. Hold on. There we go. OK, so when we go to matrix, I get this is my option. So the first thing I need to do is I need to edit my matrix. And your calculator is probably like mine. You have a whole bunch you can choose from. I'll go ahead and use A. And up here at the top, I have to tell it the size, because then it's going to give me this template here to fill in. So remember, the matrix I'm going to do is a 3 by 4. And I just arrowed over. I'm assuming Enter would work as well. And now I am going to Enter, and it's going to take me down. Notice it's put in the template, so it's bigger than it used to be. And I'm going to input those numbers. And I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out. I'll just see if I can arrow. Nope, I must hit enter. Enter, and then it goes over. So negative 1, 5, negative 6. And I'm on the next row. 3, 3, negative 1, 10. 1, 3, 2, 5. OK, so there's my matrix, all input. So the thing that's going to happen, the, the technique that works, is I need to manipulate, OK, I need to have Texas Instruments uh, manipulate this matrix so that I only have ones along the diagonal, zeros in the places above and below. And then over here in this right column, these are going to be numbers. So let's think about what that's going to tell us. Oh, and I'm sorry, you couldn't see all of that because I zoomed in. So remember, this first row, those were all of my x coefficients. These are all my y coefficients, and these are my z coefficients. And this is what those all equal. So if I can manipulate using, like, multiplying one and adding it to the other, um, subtracting two, stuff like that, if I can use some um, row transformations and get ones, zeros, and numbers, this is still my x, this is still my y, and this is still my z, I can get a different set of equations that will just have z equals, y equals, and x equals. So that form is called reduced row echelon. Okay, I'll write that down. Reduced row echelon. And let's see if I can find that on the calculator. OK. Calculator's back on. So I'm going to go back to matrix. And let's see if math will do it. Um, oh, 
there it is. So MAF, and then it's option B, R-R-E-F, reduced row echelon. You know what? You're right. Okay, thank you, whoever hollered that out at me. I have to quit. Quit. Remember where I was? I was in my matrix before. So that was just going to put that in there. I better check and make sure I've got everything I need. So matrix, um, I'll go ahead and look at A. So I just put A, enter. Let me make sure that's got everybody I need. I'm comparing. Good. Okay. So now I'll do what I was doing before. So matrix, math, reduced row echelon, RREF. And now, see, it's waiting for me to do something. I have to tell it A. So I am going to do matrix. And then see how it has A highlighted? I'm going to hit Enter, and there it goes. I'll go ahead and close the parentheses just for um, making it look nice. Now I have this new matrix, which is equivalent to the one that was before. It's just been manipulated. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my calculator to the other side of my page and copy down my new matrix. Okay. So I've got 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 0, 1, negative 1. Okay. That's a matrix. So I'll put its brackets on it. So remember, these were my x's, these were my y's, these are my z's, and these are my answers. Okay. So let's make a full circle here, and let's write this back with the x's and y's. Let's write the system of equations for this matrix. So I have, I'll start at the top, 1x, 0y's, 0z's, equals 1. Next equation, I have 0x's plus 1y plus 0z's equals 2. And my third equation, 0x's plus 0y's plus 1z equals negative 1. That is the solution to this system. And you remember what that means. If I take this, it's called an ordered triple, and plug it into all of these equations, it should make a true statement in each case. So let's just try, test it out on one just for um, safety's sake. I'm going to choose that one. Choose any three. It should work on all three. If it doesn't, we did something wrong. Let's hope not. So we're going to plug these numbers in and make sure it's a true statement. 3 times 1 plus 3 times 2 minus z, but z was negative 1. And we're checking, is that in fact 10? So let's see, 3 plus 6 minus a negative plus a positive. 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, And you can verify that it works in the other two.